Hey guys, welcome to Skipper Surf Review. I'm Yuri Tsedenov, and today I have Will's Fish from Love Machine Surfboard. So basically this new project from Ryan Loveless, uh, he is very transparent in terms of the way of shaping. He does custom handshape boards and also this one, the new project, uh, Love Machine Surfboards, they use CNC machine and uh, making really great boards. So this is 5.9 Willsfish. It has 34.17 liters of volume. I have got this board uh, about three months ago. Texted Ryan, asked him, hey, do you have any uh, boards in stock? And he texted me back and say, yeah, one in size 5.9 in varial form. And I was officially the first customer of Love Machine Surfboard. So I'm really stuck on that and uh, I'm really happy. So I really love this board. I can only say good things about it. So uh, really um, one of the kind, honestly. Uh, it works in pretty much everything here. So I took it on a small shitty day, like a really weak one foot day and the board worked. I mean, uh, honestly, probably the mini Siemens would work much better uh, to go through some flat spots. Uh, but when you do tick tacking, you know, do some speed generation technique, uh, you will be able to ride this board pretty well. It has a um, relatively flat deck, uh, really good foam. There's like a little chime and a lot of foams hidden right in the middle. So it's got really nice paddling speed, uh, not much like volume to feel like really bulky. So it's very fine on the rails, so really thin. Uh, really good grip you get to duck dives and everything. It handles steep waves, small waves, flat waves, any waves you have. Um, I think the main feature of this board is the bottom. So he uh, put like a single concave all throughout the board on the bottom and then right around the, your back foot right here, there's a slight V and goes all the way down to the tail, which works uh, technically as a kind of break uh, when you do the turns. And I really noticed that when I was riding this board. So usually when I ride twin fins, fishes, uh, they can feel really squirrely. And when you on the wheels fish, uh, when you go from the bottom turn to the top and when I do cut back, most boards, twin fins, they would probably slide off sometimes, uh, but not this one. So this one has really nice grip and like a really breaking point, like when you want to do that turn and you really feel that halt and speed through the turn. So really easy to surf. I would definitely recommend this board to, you know, intermediate beginners up to pros, easy peasy. You'll have a lot of fun. And if you're watching clips right now, you probably noticed that when I go over the foam or uh, do pop-ups, uh, all from the foam, uh, the board keeps stability, it doesn't even bubble, and it's because it's in varial foam. It's, that's just in my opinion. So I feel like the varial foam gathered everything the best out of EPS and PU constructions. It's light, uh, it's very responsive. Uh, I put into this board around six sessions, and you probably noticed that it's got some food impressions on the deck, right around here where my um, toe side is. And if you go down, they probably stop right here. I recently texted Ryan, um, team rider, uh, William Aliati, who is a professional surfer. And he's been riding this board in size 5.3 in bigger waves. And uh, he texted back to me. I shared some clips of my surfing and he gave me some tips. Basically, he said that the board is a little bit too big for me, uh, but he didn't have 5.6 in size, so there was only 5.3 and 5.9. So with a 5.9, I should be moving my front foot a little bit further up here. Uh, then I should get like 20% more of the speed. Uh, honestly, I thought the board is already big and knowing that I can get more speed, that's actually cool. So I'm kind of changing my style now to surf, uh, you know, switching, you know, my foot a little bit further. Uh, also, he mentioned uh, I should slow down on the cutbacks. So I keep that in mind when I surf now. I think it changed a little bit my surfing uh, on other boards as well. So I'm really stuck at that. Thank you, Will, uh, for, uh, for your tips. So I will continue riding and uh, 
uh, changing my technique a little bit, trying to improve it, and uh, really stuck to have this board in my quiver. So uh, if you uh, want to get one, I would keep it an eye on the website, Love Machine Surfboards. They sometimes put some boards in stock. Uh, it's really hard to catch one because a lot of people want to buy it. So it's a really cool project, really stoked to have one. Uh, so the last thing is probably the fins. So I've been riding only this Ryan Loveless Kill fins from True Amis and they work really well. So I didn't even try to play with other fins. Uh, I feel like they work really well and they would deliver great performance. That's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my reviews, please subscribe. This will really help this channel to grow. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for your support. And until next time, goodbye.